in Cubao, Quezon City para po sa pagpapakilala sa mga starting units ng dalawang kumpunan. Nakikita po ninyo ang mag-uubisa para sa Purefoods PJ Hot Dogs. Ayan, si Ikaw ang mascot po ng uh, Alaska Milk. Uh, tinatawag na rin ang mga mag-uubisa para sa panig ng uh, Alaska. Well, uh, evidently, uh, both coaches are going to uh, start off with uh, their best uh, players. No? Uh, at uh, bagamat uh, uh, alam natin na si Boyd Fernandez and EJ File uh, played well for uh, Pure Foods last time around. And you see DJ Pumarin at Andy Siegel. Our starting five brought to you by QuickTight, the all-in-one glue technology by Loctite. Ito mga kaibigan, the air of anticipation is very thick Dito po sa Araneta Coliseum sa araw ng linggong ito Got a good crowd uh, around despite the heavy rains that poured this afternoon Dito sa Metro Manila Galing ka ba sa bandang south, Tommy? Oo, oh, medyo inabutan ako Meron din ano? Pa pa papasok dito ah, Hindi, hindi, na, hindi na doon sa ano I see Hindi na doon sa Patangas, bandang Kalamaga uh -huh. Okay, Javi Abarred is pulling up for a quick two yeah. It's nothing in that attempt Ari ka sa Noy Castillo against Johnny. Dito po maren na pinapantayan ni Kenneth Durende. Apo na flick. Noy Castillo comes out. Ray Evangelista lamang kay Bong Hawkins. Medyo nakalalamang sa defense atong Alaska dito sa Ali Benito. Ivan Patrimonio almost but not quite. Pero si Ray Evangelista nakakuha na naman ang rebound. Po maren with a three-point shot. Nothing there. Not to be Andy Siegel. Baan, tagal lang proseso dito sa pure foods, ha? Ito si Evangelista nung isang game, 18 rebounds ito. Ang dami pa nakuhang offensive, no? He's starting where he left off, ha? Alam natin na yan si Ray Evangelista, inaasahan niyan sa depensa. Pero pabisan-bisan, kumaka na rin niya sa offensa. And he gets 18 rebounds. That's a big bonus for pure foods. Dwight Castillo posted up against Johnny. Good. Yun ang ginakuha nila kay Johnny, correct? Ang pinapost nila, eh. They also feel that Johnny is not really... Uh, gotten over the injury, oh. no? So, baka medyo alanganin siya sa defense. Hindi pa 100% yan si uh, Johnny Abariento. Salam natin, matagal lang may inihinda yan. Ito na si Johnny against Diego. That's the classic matchup. Evangelista can crash the board. Stab it over to Andy Siegel. Dito po maraming si Sir Dr. Mista. Aba! Ibang, ibang dating ng pure foods dito. Oh. Talagang a lot of confidence. And they are running. 4-0 lead here for the Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs. They have a 1-0 lead in the best of seven series. And it is again if Benendez and Ask has not yet scored. Almost two minutes gone by in game number two. Hawkins inside to Huino. Magandang paka! They walk this. Yan naman ang sistema ng Alaska, working for them. Nakakakilakila na lang sila. Alam nila kung nasaan yung mga kakampi nila at certain points of the game. Ito nga yung tall lineup ng Alaska, no? And uh, from that play, makang maganda na ang ball movement among the tall oh. guys, ha? Tumisa ng Alaska, maganda ang ball movement sa maliliit nilang player, no? But if they can move the ball as quickly and as fast as they did among their big guys, magkakaroon sila ng mismatch. Eh, doon si Huinho at saka si Wokbis na pasahan. And that, that covers well for Alaska, although they still down by two. Noy Castillo na mag-Johnny Abarento sa naman. Moving hit si Noy Castillo. Wala! And Andy Siegel and Wokbis were fighting for the rebound. At tatawagan ang kanyang unang personal foul, si Andy Siegel. Ito ang problema ni Andy Siegel, no? yung mga early fouls, early foul problems. Uh -huh. I think he has to avoid no? his presence in the game, malaking bagay. No? And uh, he has to keep away from his second or third foul. Kenneth Durendez is ahead. Binigay kay Watlist out to Abarientos. Bong Hawkins will try the three-point shot. A PLD too long. This is connection by Bong Hawkins. That has been working for him. Swak na swak. Oh. And to Wong Hawkins, although he developed that shot uh, rather late in his career, no? Correct. Pero maganda ang percentage ng Wong sa three. So it's not Andy Siegel with a no fear slam. It was close to that. Kaliwa pa ginamit. Correct. Kung na-pressure siya ni Wong Hawkins, eh, no? Oh. Eh, mas mabilis ang uh, movement ni Andy Siegel. Saka mabagal ang lateral ni Wong Hawkins. And the count stands at 6-5 for pure food. Wong Hawkins. Durendez Hawkins, malakas. But Wapnis is there, usually can hit that shot. 
Medyo pagka-turn na ron yun, nagulat ako sa tirang yun. But as you say, if he hits that shot, malaking bagay. Oh. Well, alam natin, for a big guy, uh, Wapnus is known to uh, shoot from the outside. So, hindi ka kakabahan. Minsan, yung mga malalaki, pag tumitira sa labas, kakabahan ka. Correct. Samantala, a turnover here by the Purefoods TJ Hot Dogs. As you look at this good crowd in attendance for game number two between Purefoods and Alaska. Tsaka, nasa Araneta tayo. Pag good crowd dito, madami na talaga ito. Ay, malaki ito eh. Malaki eh. Oh, narito po ang opensa ngayon ng Alaska. They have the lead by one. Walk with the laman, galing sa labas. Ngayon sinasabi natin, eh, marunong tumira sa labas yun, magabot malaki. Tsaka binibigyan siya ng kumpiyansa ng mga kakampi niya. Oh. Yung malaking bagay. No? And now, Alaska posts a three-point lead at 9-6. Ang match-up dito yung uh, Barrientos Castillo. Eh, oh. uh, to Remdes uh, kumarin. But Rimonio from the outside Wala pa rin uh, pumapasok para kay Kapitan Dito sa nabang ito And Alaska slows it down somewhat Ginigay kay Kenneth Fernandez Subaksak sa loob, Kenneth Fernandez Captain Marvel Diyan naman ang labang ng Alaska In the small guard position no? uh, yung, uh, Everybody feels that Fernandez can get through Castillo no? uh -huh. So the help defense of Pure Foods has to come faster No? And uh, they were not fast enough Correct. for Captain Marvel in that last sequence. Alam naman natin, eh, magaling luman si itong si uh, Durendez. Dito naman, pinasahan niya si uh, James Watkins for that jumper. The slow-mo replay brought to you by PLDT. The power of converting. A this by Andy Siegel. Watkins follows a rebound for Alaska. And it goes again at Durendez. Pinigay kay Juan Trillo. It's a five-point lead now. Para sa Alaska after falling behind initially by four. Oh, nice. Oh, Siegel with a super vocal here. Top out block. And uh, Winyo was going for a dunk, huh? Oh. Inabot niya talaga sa pick. Pareho silang nag-pick doon. Eh. Ito mo makikita yung lakas ng uh, player, eh, no? Correct. Kasi yung slam dunk, eh, malakas na yun. Nakabuelo na yun, eh. Oh. Inabot niya sa taas, eh. Pareho silang malakas. Hawkins with a blood. Voila, Kenneth Fernandez taps it, and it will go on in favor of the TJ Hot Dogs. Panoorin natin yung pagkakatapal kanina kay Coach Rino. Yung sa ibabaw na ibabaw na. Talaga, oh. ibabaw na. Six and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. Lamang ng lima ang Alaska at 11-6. Ray Evangelista to Dingo Pumare. Boy Castillo coming out. Naiwanan si Johnny. Siegel trying to put it back. Back up to Hawkins. Got a medal now, Val. On James Walkless. Good up personal foul on James Walkless. And that's going to send Andy Siegel to the free throw line. Nagre-reklamo si Tim Cohn sa kasi assistant coach Bachman doon na na L po daw si Hawkins. Kaya bumagsak. Kaya bumagsak. And then he's walking to the wild end to walk this to help out. Help out. Andy Siegel delivers on the free throw. Ito yung crowd natin na partner. Ang dami talaga, no? Linggo-linggo. Yeah. That's a nice way to spend the summer with your family. It is a... Ating finals ng PBA, alam natin, maraming pa nasa labas na maasa na makapasok dito, makakuha ng ticket. Johnny Abarientos, the punch video. Huwag lang po kayo magkakamali, nakalaan kami may ticket. Kailan po kami ticket. Face value kami, face value. Yeah. <laughs> Walk this up, Johnny's open. Yeah. Good ball movement by Alaska. This is the patent of Alaska. When you double team one player, aabot yun sa kabila, saka solo na yun. Yan ang magandang pasahan ng Alaska. Andy Siegel reached for the strike. Medyo tentative lang pagdating niya sa itaas. Nasa ilalim kasi siya masyado nag-alanganin siya. Nasupalpal siya ng ring. Bong Hawkins gets a couple of players down on the floor and he delivers off the glass. Rumara Chana po ang Alaska Milk after falling behind at the outset 4 to nothing. They now have the lead a 7-pointer at 15-8 in the first quarter.
with 5 minutes and 16 seconds and Matthew Tanati to put a first quarter. It's a seven point lead by Alaska. It is the team in El Castillo to Jaga, but yet it's very good to see Jaga. Sino pero Blue Castillo is up and down. Alam mo, ang jumping ability ni Jaga Aparentos eh, nandiyan din yan. Oo. Akala nila may injury eh, pero straight up naman yun eh, no? Oo, tsaka yung timing talaga. Nakikita mo. Ito, magandang tira naman ni Andy Sino from the outside. He has six points of the game in the game, six of the ten. So far scored by Pure Food. Big run here by Alaska after falling behind 0-4. Uh, they came up with a 15-4 run to close to seven point league and 15 to 6. No? Bong Hawkins. Cross court. Johnny off the pick by Walkers. The Pumas of Algin Patrimonio comes down with the rebound. Ito, fast break na naman ang Pure Foods. Pero, nandiyan na kaagad ng depensa. At Ray Evangelista, sinusundan ni Bong Hawkins. Referee Ernie De Leon. Calling the foul on Hawkins. Second team foul pa naman yan ng Alaska. One team foul so far para sa Pure Foods. Roy Castillo. Pinagawa. Ginam nila yun. Nag-switch kaagad si Bong Hawkins. Hawkins goes up. Medyo mahirap na tira na yan. Pinago yung tira niya by the defense and Andy Siegel. <laughs> Magkandara pa doon at uh, yeah, naipit na yung bola. Inipit na yung Andy Siegel. Sige, kunin nyo. <laughs> Inyo na yan. <laughs> Out of balance yan. Hindi niya malam. Ayaw niyang ibalik dahil nasa goal ng Alaska yun. Eh. Kung i-trinobak niya, makuha ng Alaska, makakashoot pa. Eh. So, inampun na lang niya yung bola. <laughs> May papeles ba? Oh. <laughs> Wala pa siguro. Malapit na dumating. <laughs> okay. Ito, Paul Sweden, Arthur Hawkins, and the tap-out by Dean Bukumaran. Nakikita natin dito yung defense on both sides, and anticipating the passes. Yung kay Castillo dito, anticipated ka agad yung Bob Hawkins. Ito, parang nagkakakilala na sila ngayon. Yes. Bob Hawkins. Goremnes will face line. Ah, it's kind of an acrobatic shot there. Hit the underside of the board. Roy Castillo in and out of the paint. Ray Evangelista. Ah, sadly. Nag-lift ng pivot foot. Uh, Alam nga niya siya, gusto niyang i-jump shot. Pero sabi niya, kung i-drive ko, eh nag-lift siya ng pivot foot. Na-traveling. Very common error by our uh, big guys. Oo. Uh, uh, minsan talaga hindi nila maiwasan yung, yung galaw na yun, eh, no? bago okay. ibaba yung bola. Still in the first quarter, folks. 3 minutes and 50 seconds remaining. Steal. Ah, but Dean the Bumaran throws it away. Sayang, sayang yun. Sa kanya ring effort yun, na nasayang, no? Correct. So we can see, mga kaibigan, medyo may konting nervyos doon sa magkabilang panig o konting gigil, no? Kanya at medyo maraming errors tayo nakikita rito. Some tentative moves. Tsaka yung press ng pure foods, talagang todo-todo, ha? Parang para silang 20 points behind, you know? Yes. Ang intensity level mataas. Well, in actuality, mga kaibigan, alam po ng Alaska ay 5 points at 15 10. Pero nasa kanila ang bola, Johnny Abariento is looking at Kenneth Turendez na nagbabantay si Dean Bukumaran dahil sa help defense, double team, and somebody's open. That's Bong Hawkins missing on the three-point shot and Andy Siegel comes down with a rebound. And ang, kung kayang gawin ni Andy Siegel yan, especially on the defensive board, malaking bagay. If you can control and limit Alaska to one shot. That's what the uh, coaching staff is looking for from Andy Siegel to pull. And, uh, and then if he plays offensive like this, uh, yun ang malaking oh. bagay. Yun ang sinasabi ko kanina sa umpisa, eh, no? EJ played well, but if Andy Siegel also plays well, then the uh, Alaska oh. is up. Another turn Alaska. over here, and Dita Pumaran completes the steal. First two points by Dita Pumaran. Saka mo na, Andy Siegel already has eight points in the game. At the 30, Anina, full timeout na itong tinawag mga kaibigan. Let's go back! To Viva Vintage Television. Luxan. For your new lifestyle. Magandang gabi po sa lahat ng ating mga suki ng PPA na umaantabay po dito sa ating uh, final series between Pure Foods and Alaska. Ang inyo po mga lingkod para sa Viva Vintage Television. Ed Kutson po lamang. Kasama si Coach Tommy Marato at sa laro nito. Sa first quarter, ito po, two and a half minutes remaining in the period. Isa na lang. Ang labang ng Alaska, pero yun, Johnny Abariantos. Ay tubibigyan sila ng konting breathing space. Ito yung mga usual pendulum na nangyari sa first game, no? Right. Okay, spurts both teams. 
Uh, pinakamatinding sport na nung huli. Correct. Sa huli, no? Yun ang gusto mo makuha ng sport. Yun ang oh. minahalo siya talaga. Oh. Oh. Nararasada ka nung um, na rin lang. Eh, eh siguro doon na yung pang, pang panalo na. Air ball by Andy Siegel inside. At nabagit natin, he has three stops scoring for their team with eight points. Talking about Andy Siegel. Bong Hawkins, yun ang pinakasimple yung ginagawa ng mamang yan. This is the oh. versatility of Bong Hawkins, as you say, no? Oh. Na he developed through the years also with Tim Cohn, who allows him to take the outside shot. Correct, yes. Roy Castillo, that's his for this. He held it to three-point shot to the Golden Boy. At uh, pinapiyas mo ang kalamangan ng alas, down to two at 19-17. Bong Hawkins lamang kay Ray Evangelista. Hawkins pa rin, double teamed. Here comes Johnny, open shot for him. Ito na nga maganda dito sa sistema ngayon ng Alaska. May, may, merong okay. malilibit na talaga. talaga Kapag nag-double ka, talagang mahahanap nila kung sino. Oo, oh, alam nila kung saan pupunta eh. Kung pumasok lang ang tira, yun ang ano. So, Pero kung mapasok na ngayon, ito yung low post ni ano. Dito. Oh. Talagang, actually, what he wants to draw here is the double team, eh, yeah. no? Eh, magaling naman siya pumasa talaga. Kung pagka nalakpasan na yun si Johnny, makahanap niya kung sino ang lead. Eh, tama-tama naman kumat si Andy Siegel. Oh, Ten points by Andy oh. Siegel. Kumaratsad na si Andy Siegel in the first quarter by his pure boots. He's got more than half of the point out for the pure boots. Kenneth Durandes, may gumalakas ang tira. Alvin Patrimonio has been content with hauling down the rebound. Para sa pure boots, he has not scored. But his presence is still felt because of those rebounds. Andy Siegel. He's the main man in offense for Pure Foods. 12 points now for Andy Siegel. Well, as I said in the, in the beginning of the game, no, if Andy Siegel can come up with a good game, they will have a good uh, fight here. No? And what's going on here? Walkies is the one. Winyo has uh, uh, silenced Patrimonio. So the offense of Pure Foods is going to Andy Siegel because they feel that Walkies is a less... Uh, defender than uh, we know. And Andy Siegel has proven that. Arina pa po niya din tirahan niya sa loob, sa labas. Uy! Yun, si Coach Siegel, ito pa din ang pangarap ng kanina na inun siya may. Nakatalikod siya, pero na, ganda nung pasa. No fear slam there from Coach Siegel. Oh! Nice pass by Vigo to another from the background on low basket. Sabi ni referee early to Leon, just a split second too late. Maganda sanang, uh, ano ito, play ito between Dingo and uh, Andy Siegel, pero it has been overruled or it has been ruled as a nullified shot. So, ito po, my God, on. Ito na po, upisa na second quarter, ang labanang ito na pure food sa Alaska, game two of the finals. Alvin Patrimonio still can't buy a basket. Ray Evangelista with another rebound. Offensive rebound again. Huh? Oh. And Hawkins has to box him out. Uh, binasok na po. May pagbabago tayo sa mga lineup. Uh, Boy, oh, Boyd, Boyd Fernandez at sa kapitan naman na Don Aliado. At si Rodney Sanchez pumasok. The pass to EJ Fowl. Pero Fowl. Tatawagin. And over on VIP Row, ito po ang boss ng Viva Television, boss Vic Del Rosario with Dieter Ocampo and the pretty Angelou De Leon, equally beautiful Ms. Vina Morales. And of course, our uh, very own commissioner, Jim Bernardino, I will not dare to describe him as pretty. <laughs> commissioner Leo Prieto. Alvin Patrimonio, finally, with his first two points of the game. Lala tayo, Coach Tommy at 23 all. And Bokish is still in the game here, no? Hindi pa napapahinga ni Tim Cohn. Uh, and what Pierpus will do, I think, is to continue to attack him, no? Uh, ito, Bong Hawkins, off balance shot! Pumasok pa rin. Alam na niya, may, sum may sumabit, eh. Well, and, sumabit is Ray Evangelista. Correct. Pinato na lang niya yung bola, pumasok pa. Ako, yan ang feeling ko. Kaya ni Bong Hawkins yan si Evangelista. Right. Oh. Siya na isang low post, ha? Oh. Sa low post. Pwede niyang atrasan. Tsaka alam mo, maganda rin pumasa si Bong. Kung mag-double, mabibigay. Kaya lang ito po ninyo yung action na yun on our slow-mo replay. Brought to you by PLDT. The power of convergence. Three-point play. Oop, not quite. Rodney Santos. Magulat pa siya nung makuha niya yung bola. Bumaksak yung bola sa kanya. Oy! Bumaksak din yung bola. Gali sa kanya yung mga kamay. Nakuha ni Alvin Patrimonio. Patrimonio rifles it over. Tuloy Castillo. Got a pick from Alvin. Boy, and Fernandez open shot. Wala. And Patrimonio was right there. 
Pero merong foul galing sa likod At tawagan si Kenneth Duremdes Unang personal yan Para po sa pinagmamalaki uh, ng uh, Coronadal O yun yung dating Marbel ano? Marbel sounds to tapato EJ foul against Kevin Ramas May foul na kagad Foul na hindi, traveling Traveling out Well, na which, which has been the problem of EJ, no? Uh -oh. so, yung talagang shuffle na pa. Uh, Bagit natin, the game one, he had 11 points. And 9 out of 11 from the free throw line also hauled down 6 rebounds and was an imposing presence out of the pure foods. Ito, medyo na intimidating niya rin si Dottie Santos. Basta taas lang niya kamay niya, oh. malang bagay. Fast break play for pure foods, but quick transition on defense by Alaska. Almost but not quite. Boy, uh, Fernando is maybe the hina talaga yung tirang yun. He was not squared for that shot. And Ray Evangelista picks up his second personal foul. I think you know what he said. Oh, 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 Pumasok na pala si Kevin Ramas na pinapahinga na si Rockets which I felt was playing too long already over one quarter Donald Yando has the ball Hawkins That is the Rodney Santos up against Boya Fernandez Oh, sabi ni Rodney Santos kasi Boya kinalagay niyo sa akin titirahan ko na titirahan niya Kaya niya Oo Tsaka, this is the option ng Alaska pag inalis nila si Johnny malaki sila eh, no? Oo Ang nagpo-point guard niya si Rodney o si Kenneth eh So Madana Boyd Fernandez to DJ Fowl. Fernandez na naman. Noy Castillo. Good take and he goes closer. Masyado naman malakas ang tira. Maganda yung fake niya pero hindi nakatako. Ito na. Hawkins from the corner. At dami ko si Noy Castillo starting the foot race. Side-stepping move. Wala. At wala naman trailer. Correct. So, mas matulis lang pula bakit yung defense ng Alaska kasi hindi sa offense ng pure food on a fast break play. Rodney Santos. Ito yung mismatch na exploiting na. Naghihintayin ng double ay dumating. Ito, dumating to black. But they swing it over to the weak side and Kenneth Durendez is open to that shot and hindi nga lang pumasok. Ito na. Kenneth Durendez with a fancy pass up on the Donald Yado. Rodney Santos in the outside. Ayaw talaga. And Ray Evangelista holds down the rebound together with a foul. Si Duremdes na naman natatawagan. Yan ay pangalawa ni Kenneth for this game. Samantala, papalitan muna si Alvin Patrimonio ni Andy Siegel. At babalik si Johnny Abarientos kasama si Brian Gahol to spell Rodney Santos and Bong Hawkins. Ito ngayon, dalawang malaki ang field coach. Oh, si DJ, ito nga si Andy, pinagsabay. Version nila ng Twin Towers. Ba, narito na rin para si Richard, Richard Yee. Ito, very intense itong uh, player na ito, na si Richard Yee. Nag-andara pa po si uh, Don Aliado para kunin yung bola. Kasi niya naman, at hindi ang labanan. Ha. Talagang uh, makikita ninyo, eh, dumadaib ang mga player. Intensity 7 na ito. So, oh. second quarter pa lang. Ha? Yes. Tignan natin kung sinong guguho. Dito sa dalawang kumpunan ito, sa intensity ng sabi na ating nararamdaman. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Para sa pure foods, Andy Siegel, that's a foul. Pero foul. Talagang mukhang Andy Siegel feels it tonight. Oo. At hindi po ninyo inabutan ng first quarter, Andy Siegel top scored with 12 points. Out of the 21 that was scored by their team, and see Alvin Patrimonio made of getting a a whiff of oxygen. Ano yun? Yan ang mga American style, based on the American trainer yun. Wag kayo matakot na hindi na makahinga si Alvin. It's just for faster recovery. That's it. Ang mga gamit yun, no? Correct. SOP equipment na yan sa Amerika eh. uh, in all the sports, no? all the team sports. Ayo, so, pag uh, si Ed Pickson nakita nung nung nakikin niya, uh, pwede nang ipagdasal niya. Hindi <laughs> naman. Uh, <laughs> Magpo-worry na yung mga kasama natin. <laughs> hey. Zero out of four. Oh, I see the missing both shots. 
27-23, four-point lead by Alaska. Edwin Ramos gets it against and, uh, E.J. Brown. Nice jumper by Johnny, pero hindi pumasok. Not a good point, but now and again, Alaska down on defense quickly. E.J. Brown, nakagigil na gigil. Tumihit, tumira, pumasok! Ito ang big improvement talaga ni EJ Yung mobility niya Yung able to turn from right to left Oo, sa kaliwa Dati, one way na lang yan Baka mawala pa yan E ngayon, talagang nasa kondisyon And he's in better shape Than we've ever seen EJ Pyle And that can only augur well Para sa pure foods A guy this tall, this big E medyo nakakagalaw na ng maganda Correct Correct Saka may konting power, ha? Hindi yung kasi siya din nahuhulog or something. He was able to stand his ground. Missed the free throw home. Gets it back! Boyan Fernandez set up for the free throw. You can feel it coming. That was a... Take a winner. A PLD to long distance shot by Boyan Fernandez. Better from foul. Sa ilalim yung foul. Ayun, si Donald Yadon ang tinawagan. Pagkatapos nung tira, ito, sa ilalim, libre. Sa ilalim nangyari. Ito lang kanya. Ito oh, uh, lang kanya. Ito lang kanya. Jacking for position. Oh, uh, try to box out Andy Siegel. Tignan natin dito. Panoorin nyo si Aliado sa may bandang kanan. Eh. Hindi ko hindi masyado na nakita ron. Andy Siegel misses another one. Si Rafaela, sayang yun. Oh, oh. 7 minutes, 18 seconds to go. Oh. Dito sa ating pangalawang yugto sa labang ito. Nice pass. Nice pass to Brian. A nice reverse layup by Brian Gahol. Alam mo, Brian Gahol is showing a lot of class in the Filipino conference. And he shows that he's fitting into the system of Tim Kong. Napanaw din siguro kanina. Siya yung ating feature. Correct. Sa pag-upisa ng ating coverage. As DJ Files. Sayang. Sayang. Maganda rin sana yung kanyang ginawa ron. Nakita niyang sumasaksak si Dindo Pumarin. Look at the pass. Was already excellent. But that shot even better. Ang ganda pa nung orin. Six minutes and 52 seconds to go in the second quarter. It is a one-point lead by Alaska. They have possession. Kevin Ramos is open. Jumpers no good. Tip in by Aliado. Hindi pumasok na po ni Andy Siegel. Binigay kay Boyet Fernandez. Fernandez looking around, but as usual, Alaska is already there. Itong sa Pupils, dalawang point guard, ha? Oh. You notice po Marin Fernandez. Tumagsak si Dingo. Handle off to EJ Fryer, goes awry. Pull up jumper, Rodney Santos. Malakas, the hole. Tinulak daw. Hindi. Yung hinawakan yung pantalon. Hindi. Magdag na makubuan. Nakubuan na nga. Si Boyan Fernandez. Sabi niya, maliit ako. Ito lang maabot ko. So, inabot lang niya yung pantalon ni Ito, tignan natin dito. Ano nangyari dito? O. Ayun, hinila yung pantalon. Hinila yung pantalon sa lalim. Alam mo, ginagawa namin normally sa scrimmage, no? Hindi sa final state. Pero, this is part of the camaraderie among the players, no? That has developed, no? Alam mo, tinan lang itong mga player na ito. May mga cycling shorts ito sa ilalim. So, huwag kayo masyado mag-alala dyan. Wala ko tayo makikita rito kung hindi dapat makita. Ryan Gahol. Lessons in the corner. And a loose ball scramble. Nakuha ni EJ Fry from Andy Siegel. Narito si Richard Yee. At pumarin na. Pumarin na naman si Boyan Fernandez. Hindi makatira. Tumarin inside to Andy. Siegel scores. At all sekundo sa buong ginagawa ni Andy Siegel sa larong ito. He's had several opportunities. Especially from the free throw line. Missed three. Tatlo, no? Yung minimpis niya. Pero we can see talagang Pure Fools is looking for him, no? And this is what I said sa umpisa, no? That their big men have the advantage over the big men of Alaska. And if they can really you know, get a lot of points, no? Easy points underneath the basket. They will be in this game and in this series. That's true. Sa kasalukulang naman ko ang Pyrrhus ng isa, 30-29. Remember that they won game number one. Nasa game two po tayo, best of seven po ito. Oh, nice passing shot to Rodney Santos. 
single roll is good. Yan naman ang advantage ng Alaska, yung mga off-guards nila, no? Uh -oh. Like uh, Duremdes, Santos, and uh, Johnny, uh, Mariano. So, uh -oh. their guard lineup. Yan ang uh, pambato talaga nila. Correct. DJ Fryan against Kevin Rama. Sinuudyok sa ng mga tao na tumira. And he obliges. Second try, third try. Ay, open it. Aray. Oh, bumagsak si DJ. Nagkakaroon ng konting physical dito. On the jumping, no? Oh. Pagpagsakan, nagtutulakan ng konti. Rodney Santos actually fumbled it. Got off a try, pero merong foul. Tira natin itong uh, ginawa ni EJ Fryan. Tenacity written all over the face of EJ Fryan here. Nakita niyo, tatlong subok ito. Pagkatapos, after three, he goes down. <laughs> like a lock. <laughs> he's Good. trying, he's trying. <laughs> oh yeah, we can see that. Samantala, meron po tayong time out and out the Pure Foods. We'll be right back. Pasalubong ng bayan. Well, nasa bayan po tayo ng superstars. At ang pasalubong sa inyo, bawat uh, playing date po, umaatikabong aksyon dito po sa PBA. Magandang gabi sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Mayang gabi sa ating mga higala sa Kabisayan o sa Mindanao. Ang hindi po mga kaibigan din sa Viva Vintage Television at Dixon po namang kasama si Coach Tommy Manotok. Rodney Santos at the line. Misses on his first free throw lamang sila ng isa. At ito, wala sigurong traffic ngayon sa Metro Manila. Ang dito lahat, nakaparada ng mga coach ng mga taong ito. Saka kung malapit kayo, pumunta na kayo dito at mukhang maganda itong game na ito. Yeah. Rodney Santos, one out of two from the free throw line. Uh, because Rodney Santos has five points all scored here in the second quarter. Nice play! Keep the Pumaran inside. Yan ang advantage ng dalawang point guard sa loob, oh. no? Fernandez and Dino Pumaran. Uh, Nag-prepress ang Alaska. So they take advantage of quick passes. Pero ito, quick shot naman ni Johnny Abarientos. Nakita niyo si Andy Singer, nag-aabang dun eh. Correct. Sabi niya, hindi, hindi ko na paaabutin dito. Hindi na sa few seconds eh. Yeah. Oo. Oh. Fade away na siya, oo. Oh. <laughs> Jumping. So, alamang na naman ang dalawa, ang Alaska, 34-32. Pero matayang 4 minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Again, Dino Pumarin tried to squeeze in to the uh, paint. Pero foul. Ay naman yung... Uh, Passing play, Kanina, ng Beerfoods TJ Hot Dogs with Dindo scoring inside. Correct. Tinatawag natin Land of the Giants. Eh. Sabi ni Dindo, Giant Giant. Mas May mabilis ka. Oh. Siya, correct. You can offset a little oh. height with speed. Uh, pero usually, reliable free throw shooter ito si Dindo. Mukhang both sides, ah. the free throw oh. shooting is not that good. Mm -hmm. Kanina, si Rodney Santos, ang bintis ng isa. Kali ni nama si Andy Singer tak perlu menintis. So, alam nanti di pressure di itu mati jatuh. Correct. Karena pivotal game tala gaya itu for pure fruits ya. Pakai makalus itu tampil fruits itu tu siru sila. Well, alam nama nama tahu na dihado untuk tinggal pure fruits di itu. Woi, magical shot by Brian Gahol. Drew the foul from Andy Siegel. Alam mo, ito si Brian Gahul talaga. Shows, shows a lot of heart, no? Oh, yeah. Tsaka hindi natatakot sa mga land of the Giants. At, uh, well, he's also very athletic, no? For a guy his size. Correct. Para makatira ka ng ganyan, usually mga 5'8", 5'9", mga ano, yun ang mga tumitira ng ganyan. Pero ito si Brian Gahul is definitely over 6'3", about 6'4". Correct. Eh, kaya niyang gumalaw ng ganyan. As you look at uh, the coaching... Uh, staff of Alaska coach Tim Cohn and assistant uh, Dickie Backman. Saka itong type talaga ni Tim Cohn eh. You know, Tim looks for athletic players. Uh, uh, saka masisipag eh, no? Correct. Kailangan yung work ethic mo maayos eh. He was languishing in the mobile line lineup, no? Right. Hindi masyado nagagamit. Uh, and uh, it looks like he's finding his home, no? In Alaska with whoops. the system. Pasikuhan doon, Andy Sino would be called to that. Yun ang matindi. Yun ang sinasabi kong oh, foul trouble ni Andy Seager that he has to keep away from, no? Because uh, he's much needed in this game. Well, that he did not need. Uh, uh, his third personal foul. At doon sa walang katutunan yun. Eh. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Jockeying for position, oh. eh, hindi dapat mangyari yun. So, ito po, apat na minutong nalalabi sa second quarter. Lamang ng tatlo ang Alaska, 36-33. 
Nasa penalty na po ang uh, Alaska. Ba, uh, actually, both teams are already in the penalty. Oh, nice pass inside. Pero napanakasatira ni Brian Gahol. Andy Siegel comes out with a rebound. Dito po maaaring directing operation. Alvin Patrimonio waiting for that pass. He gets it. He's up against Brian Gahol. Goes up. And makes it. Good shot. Ito, pag pumutok pa si Alvin sa game na ito, it will be a really, really tight game and a good series for Purefoot. No? Alalahanin. No? Alalahanin natin that Purefoot won game number one with Alvin Patrimonio very far from uh, his usual numbers. Did not score that well in game number one, but Purefoot still won it. Oh, what an effort there by Andy, Andy Siegel. Siegel. Ito naman si Dindo Pumare, sumaksak na naman. Sabi ko ni Rodney, teka, nawiwili ka na sa atin. Sobra ka na, sobra ka na, sabi niya. You've been, ano ha, trying to do that several times. Maabuso ka na, sabi ni Rodney Santos. Pero super full kasi yung top out. We have a timeout. Noy Castillo's back in the game. This is a shot. Alvin Patrimonio, inagawa ng harap-harap ni Johnny Abariego sa ilalim. Patented steal by Johnny Abariego. Oo. Sa matara, Bong Hawkins has it. 2 minutes and 45 seconds remaining in. In the second quarter, Lamang ng isang Alaska at 36-35. Bong Hawkins, hindi makatira ng Israel. Bang hindi sa James Watkins. Wala. Loose ball picked up by the captain. Alvin Patrimonio into the front court. Ayan naman si Johnny Gary sa likod. And Roy Castillo is open. Balibag itira. Bricks. Oo. Konting brick ng konti. Nagmadali siya ng konti sa itira ngayon. Ito mismatch talaga si Castillo. Oh, bibigyan niya kay Hawkins, ayan na. Kaya nakita naman si Winyo. Nakita niya sa Durango sa libre. Wala. Winyo, good effort. And even Johnny had an excellent effort there. Pero napunta kay Dingo. Evangelista traveling once again. The same, the same mistake, no, na gusto niyang tumira tapos he wants to drive. But he lifts the pivot foot sa likod. Kaya sinasabi natin na madalas mangyari yan. Look at Andy Siegel. His touches. Very good numbers, right? Correct. Very, very good numbers. All over the court. The free throw lang yung lead break. Gusto niya may defense. Maklase rin. Johnny. Hawkins from quarter court. Wala. Nakuha niya ulit. Nakita sa kanya yung bola. Naipit. And there's going to be a foul called on EJ File. Sabi ni EJ, tinaas at saka ni Coach Derek, o tinaas lang ang kamay eh. Eh, alam mo si EJ, mahaba ang kamay, tapos oh. uh, ang katawan ka niya, malaki. So, sabi ni mong referee naman, tinaas mo nga, pero sumuhug ka ba? Sumuhug ka rin, yun nga nangyari. Eh, sabi naman ni EJ, ba't hindi ako sumusuwa, di ba maatras siya? Parang chacha yan eh, di ba? Atras sa bante. <laughs> pare sila, pare sila. So, pag umatras ka, susuhug yung partner mo. Pero yung free throw shooting, magkabila ah. Both sides talagang a bit rusty, tension, you know, the end of the game. Ito yung mga fans, mga kaibigan, medyo may sarili din silang... May game din doon. Oo, kanya-kanyang kansawan. Pero good natured pa naman. Kanya ngayon ah. Sana ito made that way. 1.35 to go in the second quarter. Two-point lead by Alaska at 37-35. Nasa Pure Foods and Bola. Dito Pumaran. Si Patrimonio against Duño. Patrimonio maatras. Ayan ang galaw ni Kapitan. Pero ayaw pumasok ng bola. Medyo nailang pa siya ng konti. Patrimonio with four points in the game. Hawkins, offensive foul. Naisahan siya nun. He ran into Ray Evangelista and Bong Hawkins will pick up his third personal foul. Yan, malaking bagay kung talagang ma-foul trouble. Because Hawkins is one of the ah, yeah. dependables of uh, team coach, especially down the stretch, no? Uh -oh. Sa last five minutes. He's always involved in the play. Pagka sa building o sa bahay, eh, post yan eh. Correct. One of the pillars. Oo. Ayun, yung basa ko DJ Vial. Gets it inside to Ray Evangelista. Medyo ba labya? Evangelista, twisting shot. Alvin Patrimonio. They've got a fresh 24 second shot clock. Ay. Nabasa ng gusto ni Coach Winyo. And in the Pumaran, that's why he's known as a bullet. Terrific intensity here of both teams. 
Rodney Great Sanderson. game. Great game. Big witness here in game number two. Medyo papalitan muna si Bong Hawkins. Can't afford to lose him with uh, only this much time remaining in the second quarter. Correct. Kailangan siya sa last oh. quarter, especially last oh. five minutes. Here's Johnny Abanientos. Rodney Santos. Dorendez back to Santos. Looper of the shot. Wala din ito pumarin high for that rebound. Pumarin, tinignan niya yung oras. Eh. Sabi niya, medyo pwede pang pag-usapan ito. 30-second timeout called by the Purefoods TJ Hot Dog. Sa kasalukuyan po ang ating score. Medyo napako ito. In the last uh, minute or so, a 37-35 two-point lead. By the shot, last eight seconds. But the play that Rino ni Derek is for Alvin Patrimonio to come out and take an outside shot coming from a screen of Boyet Fernandez. Boyet Fernandez, balik betul. So, mana yang jump pakai screen ni Boyet? Macam flash dia sana lepas. Dok, nak double sila ke ke Patrimonio, bakal si Fernandez makan dia. But they should be able to waste the time as much as eight seconds to go in the in the in the game. So ito, they will go for the play when the uh, game clock down to 8 seconds but Johnny Abarientos gives up a foul actually Montic niya maagaw yun kanya lang eh, natamaan niya yung uh, braso ni uh, Noy Castillo but he gets a double black eye dahil doon sa pagkaagawan eh, medyo natamaan siya sa mukha correct, nakuha niya yung bola tapos humawi si uh, Noy Castillo yun, si Noy palang tinawagan ng foul so Johnny will be awarded two charities, and you look at the uh, free throw free stats, huh? Those stats brought to you by Quick Tight, the all-in-one blue technology by Loctite. Tablan, tabla. Masama din pareho. Oh. Eh. Kaya ang score natin din, ganun din, only by two. Pero uh, pinagtagaan ni Johnny with that free throw. Yan ang problema dyan sa mga sa last few seconds play where you will involve Johnny Abarriento guarding the ball, no? Oh. Dapat yun i-isolate mo siya off the ball. Dahil, uh, alam mo na to, he will always go for a steal, no? Oo. Oh. Oo oh, na. 14 seconds to go. In the second quarter, bad pass by EJ Fala to Rodney Santos. Abarriento pulls up and lets it fly. Wala. Puts me to the offensive rebound and there's going to be a foul on EJ Fala with that basket counted. Ah, oh, things not turning out Correct. well for Pure Foods at all. Masakit na masakit ito because he oh. had, they had the ball and they could have ended the game or given only Alaska 7 seconds to yeah. go, no? Ito, makakascore ng 5 puntos yung Alaska tsaka sila walang na-score. Yun ang masakit. Nasa ball kanila, possession sila. Eh. Nasa kanila ang bola nung mag-timeout. Correct. There were about 27 seconds to go, 28. Correct. Eh, pagkatapos, eh, they uh, give up a foul. Uh, yung ang napunta yung bola doon sa tao ni Abarientos, eh, no? Uh -huh. Dapat yun hindi nakakaharap ng bola si Abarientos. No? Yes. Yeah. So, mga pagkakataong ganyan, eh, talagang uh, gagamitin ni Johnny. Ay pa, maganda yung tapik. Coach Huiga goes up. Second service for Coach Huiga. Hindi lang po. Hindi lang five points. I mean... <laughs> In 20, what, 28 seconds? 28 seconds with Pure Foods having ball possession. Masakit yun para sa Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs. Lalong-lalo na. At magtatapos po itong first half ng larong ito with Alaska in the lead by 8 at 43 to 35. Talagang diniinan nila itong Pure Foods in the last lamang ng walo. Ang Alaska milk na sa Pure Foods ang buwan na may ibang alista has it looking at Andy Siegel. Ngayon na yung pasa. Over walk with. Mahina ang tira kapos. Doremdes with the rebound out to Abarientos. Sinasalubong yung Mike Castillo. Out to walk this. And here's Wong Hawkins to Doremdes. Against Pumarin. Sinitikita ni Pumarin. Try to take him out. Johnny Abarientos from the outside. Ray Evangelista gets to the loose ball. Pareho pa rin ang starting five. Pareho ang matchup. Both coaches as we started the game. Medyo comfortable sila dyan. They had a very close game. Uh, sa ating first half lumayo na lang ang Alaska actually dito sa uh, last uh, few seconds of the game Hawkins this is the shot and here comes Noy Castillo Castillo tumuloy tuloy pasahampa Alvin Patrimonio left hand in reverse layup Medyo sobra yata tayo pasahan doon, pero napaganda naman. Correct. Oh, alam mo, they were both small people with the ball, eh. Nandun uh -huh. si Wokes, nag-aalanganin sila. Sa so, Batala, oo. Maganda sana yung plano ni uh, Kenneth Durantes. Batala, spoiled by the defense of Noy Castillo. The improved physical uh, speed no, of uh, uh -huh. Castillo. 
Dati wala siyang ano na ngayon. Uh, nasa condition talaga ang katawan niya. Alvin Patrimonio still having uh, some problems with his field goal shooting as Hito Bermada comes up with a steal. Ang lakas ni tal talun niya ron. Well, look away pass eh. Nabitin ni Pira ni Noy Castillo. That was a, an effort by Dito Bermada going to not. Pagtik ng na fourth foul si Andy Siegel to which you oh. must avoid. No? Oh. This communication here. By Alaska, very rare sa kanila sapagkat alam natin na nabanggit nga natin ang first quarter pa lamang itong uh, Alaska squad they already have a, a system wherein uh, alam nila kung nasan yung mga kasama nila mga kakampi nila Correct. at uh, alam nila kung saan pararatingin ang bola so, a good tap by Bong Hawkins and the quick hands of Johnny Abariento to contain it Alaska lead down to 6 43-37 at the start of the third quarter Pochwinho, brigay kay Kenneth Durende. Sumaksak sa loob. He runs into Andy Siegel. Pochwinho against Noy Castillo. He goes up. Wala. And Ray Evangelista was all alone there for the rebound. Keep the Pumara into the front court. Pumara decides to go for a three-point shot. That, that was deflected. And Siegel tried to bounce it off. James Wagner's not going to go for it. Nakuha na niya. Paghampas niya, hindi malakas. Hindi tumalbog. Malambot yung katawan ni Wagner's. And that was an open shot to Bong Hawkins, but Porch Wigno with a good offensive rebound. Hand off by Durendez to Wigno. Here's what I said about the system of Alaska. Na, it makes it easier for the players, no? The ball movement, no? Oh. Uh, and the people movement uh, of the ball, no? Alam na alam nila. Magkakilala talaga sila. Oh. Eight minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Back to an eight-point lead by Alaska. Dean De Pumaren swings it over to Alvin Patrimonio. Patrimonio, his pass, taken away by Pontuino. Here comes Durendez to Hawkins. Hey, leaping leaping is walkless to Sakabila, but he didn't see it. Durendez, Patikot Ikot, Andy Siegel with the rebound. He's really got the advantage over Castillo. Oh. Castillo has improved his defense. He's not going to get a good score by Jorge Mendoza. That's right, the team of Pumara is called for the offensive foul. That's his first. Well, the foul is only that for the team of Pumara. Let's see what this is. Maatrasa against Johnny. Ayun, initiating a bit of contact there on the slow-mo replay, brought to you by PLDT, the power of convergence. Ito si Durendez to Huigno, and ako, pang-apat na yan, kung susigil yan. Yeah. Fourth personal on that. Huh? Kanina din, kaya di sigil. Ang uh, dinig natin, number 52. Pero yung tinaas nung uh, ating scorer dun, ang gusto scorer dun, eh, first personal. Ano talaga? Okay. Ganun pa man, uh, Ponch Rino at the line. We look at our Kandwai buddies, Durandes and Hawkins, combining for 12 points. Uh, not far behind, Patrimonio Casido with 11. Dikit na dikit ito, except on assist. Tablang, tablang, oh, tablang, no. tablang. Assist talagang mas maganda ang ball movement naman ng Alaska, eh, no? Oo. Oh. So, that's uh, understandable. Pochino makes the second uh, free throw as well, and it's a 10-point lead by Alaska. This is the biggest lead so far in this game. At tatawag ng 20-second uh, timeout, itong uh, Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs, Coach Derek Pumarin does not like the way things are uh, moving or not moving for uh, Pure Foods after they, was, they were able to cut it down to just a six-point lead at the start of the third. Ito, lumobo na naman to ten points ang kalamangan na nitong Alaska Milk. Nakapapasok na si EJ, na? Oo. Oh. For Andy Siegel. Ayun, yun ang kanina nga, ang foul kanina kay Rey Evangelista. Del, ang, ang numero kasi ni Rey Evangelista, 7. Ayun. So kung 5 plus 2, pwede rin Andy pwede. Siegel 52, oh. no? So medyo nagkamali yung, yung announcer natin. Oh. Nung nag-signal yung referee ng 5 and 2, kala niya 52. Because Seven Andy pala. was in front of uh, Winyo, Winyo uh -oh. but uh, Evangelista was behind. Yeah. So, tinawagan ng referee, hacking by Evangelista. But a good break there for, for Pure Foods. Correct. So, tatlo pa rin ang personal foul ni Andy Siegel. Coming so, off the 30-second timeout brought to you 
by Sanmeg Light. Kaya hindi na rin pumasok si EJ. Nandun na kayo okay. si EJ. Sabi <laughs> niya, hindi pala. <laughs> hindi pala. Hindi pa pala apat. Oo. Oh. Pero tingin ko, darating din yan. At saka doon kanina, sumugal na rin si Andy Singal. Eh. Tumama rin siya rin eh. Correct. Oh. Pumarang siya. Oo. Oh. Alvin Patrimonio goes up. Well, he just had to keep on trying. Alam natin si Alvin Patrimonio at some point in the game can explode. But he can't do that if he doesn't try. However, his, his uh, field goal percentage has gone way down. And the past couple of games, but Kenneth Durango is seeing an opening there with his left-handed layup. The athletic ability of oh. Alaska, courtesy of uh, Kenneth Durango. Four points for Captain Marbell. And more importantly, that gives Alaska a 12-point lead at 49-37. Dalawang puntos pa lang, ang score ng Pure Foods dito. With about five minutes gone by, Mike Castillo misses that. And ayun, nahuli si... Boxing out, oh, boxing out. May inipit yata si Walkwist doon. Eagle eyes by referee Ernie Dileon. Pinabasto na si Andy Siegel. Eh, inipit uh -oh. na yung kamay. Eh, para-paraan lang yan. Kung di makita, di swerte ka. Correct. <laughs> Mike Castillo. Now to Andy Siegel. Titira ng uh, jump shot. Talagang mukhang oh. he's feeling it today talaga. Yeah, yeah. 16 points na si Andy Siegel. That's correct. Not his usual shot, but he'll take it. Correct. Here's Johnny Abarientos. He finished with 10 points in the first half. Drop pass to Bong Hawkins off the glass. Passing of the big man. Uh, oh. Win to Hawkins. So si Puntos na rin ang The Hawk. Bong Hawkins. Six minutes and 12 seconds to go in the third. He's the Pumanan. Ito, kanya-kanyang uh, kundahan dito. As somebody who tries to shake off his defender. Ito si Andy Seeker against Walkers. He goes up. Ito ang lahoy na tira. Johnny Abariantos picks it up. Abariantos into the front court. Kenneth Turendez blows by. Nakita niya si Ponce Wigner sa ilalim. Left hand and reverse layup by Ponce Wigner. Good. Nakakuha naman siya ng foul. This time from Alvin Patrimonio. First personal on the captain. 5.53 remaining in the third quarter. 14-point lead by Alaska. And a free throw to go for Ponce Wigner. This time out. Matagalan. <laughs> Five minutes and 53 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Three-point play by Pochuino gives them a 15-point spread. Kinas na si Boyet Fernandez para sa Pure Foods. Ito na naman yung two-guard lineup ni Coach Derek Pumarin playing Dingo and Boyet at the same time. Alvin Patrimonio. Oy, pasa niya na ako ni Bong Hawkins. Hawkins, nice bounce pass to Pochuino. Ito ang wow. patent, patented Alaska play coming from good defense, no? Good pressure on the ball. Uh -oh. Hindi nabigay ng pure foods ang bola sa low post. Nakapag-intercept and then they kill you on the fast play. Yan siguro yung uh, malaking factor dito sa biglang uh, ratsada nitong right. uh, Alaska. Uh, starting from the closing seconds of the second quarter, yung depensa nila. Boya right. Fernandez, oh, that is his reliable three-point shot. Pero bakit parang ikaikai ito si Boya Fernandez? And uh, that's what they will give you, Alaska, the outside shot. Oh, CLDP. Nice pass for Naman Oy, sayang mo. Oh, and Andy Siegel gets the rebound. 14 puntos po ang abante ng Alaska at this juncture at 56-42. Arito si Dean Dupumaran getting away despite Ports Rino's defense. Alam mo naman si The Bullet. Oh. Tumantana, ito naman yung isang mga diminutive player sa kapila naman, Johnny Aparriendo starting the offense para sa Alaska Milk. Walk this. Sinabito ni Boyet Fernandez. So, Mandala, Richard Yee, papasok ni Coach Derek Pumarin for Alvin Patrimonio who's evidently been struggling here. Correct. He cannot get his offensive game going. Oo. Tanatana Johnny out to Paul Trudeau. Here's Abarientos. Yun yung speed ni Johnny Abarientos. Ano para? Parang invisible man. Hindi mo nakita. Ano nangyari? Nasaan na yun? Yung nga sabi ko, for Alaska fans, it's very good news to see the movement of Johnny Abarientos. Saka yung jump shot niya, mumabalik na yung spring. Eh, bira mo, basta naiwanan na lang niya yung bantay niya in about one or two steps. 
Andy Siegel missing that one. But anything you're adding is Andy Siegel has been carrying the brunt of the offense of uh, Pure Food. Still needs some help. Correct. Masyado naman silang concentrated. Oh. Yeah. Dapat magtikoy naman siya once in a while. No? To do oh. a double team. Okay, pasok yan. Correct. Ito. Maganda pa sa hand in Alaska results in a two-pointer by Porchino. And Porchino has unloaded 11 points here in the third quarter. We're not done yet. With 3.24 to go, he has a total of 17. Yung puntos ni Duremdes, napupunta sa kanya. Oh. And Wing is scoring from within and without. Correct. Ayun na. Loose ball foul ang tatawagin kay Ray Evangelista as Bong Hawkins was poised to run the break. Superior skin germ protection safeguard Queen. Si Hawkins ng Bintis. Andy Siegel para sa rebound. Diligay kay Dindo Pumaras. Two minutes and 49 seconds left in the third. Open shot for Ray Vangelista. Now to Mahina. And Wapwit controls it. And it is a Kenneth Grandes. This is Ace Napo Kalamangan. Now the Alaska. Nice area play. Poch Wigna to Kenneth Grandes. Ang nangyayari naman sa Pure Foods, kulang naman ng harassing on the ball. Oh. So nakakapagpasa ng gusto ang uh, Alaska. Eh, no? If you don't harass the ball, the ball handler sa Alaska, patay ka. Uh, they're scoring at will almost. At this juncture. Boy, Fernandez off the screen. And the single lets it fly. Uh, Buti nila, maminsan-minsan, eh, pumapasok yung mga tirang yan ni Andy Siegel kahit na pressured. Correct. And not in his comfort zone. Sa oh. kanya uh, area yun. Kamantana, Johnny Abarientos has it. Hawkins, kumakat sa loob. Diligay kay Paul Sweeney and Ted. At si Kenneth Durandes, exploiting the mismatch against Dean Dupumaran. Medyo nakatingin ng Paul Durandes. Teka, sinadya mo ba yun? Nagsabitan ng paa eh. Kamantana, this was another play that we had a couple of plays back. The alley-oop to Kenneth Durandes. Samantala, mga kaibigan, the score is standing at 64-46. Alaska is threatening to blow this game away. We have another timeout. Kenneth Durando is on the free throw, pero kanina pa rin ang bola. Ito po, eh, 18 puntos na kalamangan ng Alaska with a minute and 35 to go in the third quarter. Bigla pong gumatsada itong Alaska dito sa third period. Actually, from the last 28 seconds of the second quarter, doon ang gumpisa. Samantala, merong, meron tayong ipapakita dito. Yung ating CMG swipe of the game. Ayun, si Dindo Pumarin uh, uh, coming out of uh, nowhere. At uh, you just saw the CMG swipe of the game by Dindo Pumarin, brought to you by CMG of Australia, reinventing healthcare with the CMG swipe card. Ano nangyari kay Kenneth ko? Medyo nasaktan yata yung kamay. Uh, Masagot sa kanila, no? Konting music-music, okay na naman. Sanay na sila. What we call the warriors of the game. A lot of them playing with injuries. Ito sa kaya yung medical technology na rin. Magaling na rin. Mga equipment na ginagamit. As you said also, patapos na yung first conference natin, no? So they've been playing for the past few months, no? Right. Yung wear and tear talaga. Wear and tear, correct. And we have the longest season of basketball, <laughs> any, of basketball in any country. Hindi nga makapaniwala iba eh. What? You play all year round? <laughs> so, these guys earn their money. Oh, yeah. So, one more shot here for Kenneth Durandes. So, this is what I'm going to do Kenneth sa South Kutabato. Lagi na diha sa Jensen. Mga kaibigan natin dyan. Kumusta po kayo? Naglaro na dyan ang PBA. Eh, punong-puno. Marami tayong mga sugi dyan sa Jensen. Lapanta na Boya Fernandez crossing the center line. Now, with a 20-point deficit against Pure Food. Richard Yee looking around. Nice Boya Fernandez. Bigang tira. 
And Alvin Patrimonio with a tough shot underneath. Correct. Talagang mahirap pa. Oh. Alam mo si Captain, talagang uh, yung mahirap eh, na he makes it look easy. Oh. Medyo mo naman maaasahan yan. Less than a minute to go on the third. Ang laki-laki na itong inahamol ng pure food. Bong Hawkins. Three-point shot. That's a PLDT long-distance connection by Bong Hawkins. The fluidity of Alaska is really showing. Oh. Yung the man with the ball does not take the shot. That's right. Mike Castillo is bound from behind. Well, alalahan ni Nigan and Alapo and Pure Foods uh, in game one uh, behind a 19 to nothing run in the fourth and final quarter with over seven minutes remaining. 19 0 po yun, dita ka score ang Alaska. We're not saying they can do it again, but they're saying. It's been done. And it is Richard Yee. Boyet Fernandez. Oh, ayan na si Boyet Fernandez. This time from the corner with a PLDT three-point shot. Well, he's going to need a lot of those, no? And oh. if he connects, the defense of Alaska will have to open up, no? But here comes Kenneth Fernandez. Masyado maranin na dyan naman si Rodney Santos. Ang bilis naman sumagot ng uh, Alaska. But the defense of Pure Foods also has to wake up. No? Oh. They cannot give up layup to Alaska. Two seconds remaining in the third. Noy Castillo puts it up. Hindi bumasok ang three-point shot. And Alaska with a 20-point lead. Going into the fourth and final quarter. Magandang gabi muli sa lahat ng ating mga suki ng bayan ng superstars. Uh, sa mga sulok ng Pilipinas kayo naroon. Ubus na po kayo lahat at uh, sana ay nag-i-enjoy kayo dito sa ating uh, paghahatid sa inyo ng labaran na Alaska at Pure Foods in June number 2 20 point lead by Alaska as we start the final quarter Alvin Patrimonio Nagbanggaan yung dalawang taga South Cotabato Parehong taga ano ito eh, taga Marvel eh Ngayon po naman ang ating quarter scores big third quarter here by Alaska Belt of those stats brought to you by QuickType the all-in-one blue technology by Loctite Biglang iniwanan ng Alaska Coach Tommy itong uh, Pure Foods in the third quarter parang they didn't know what hit them Well it's really started the last 28 seconds of second That's quarter right. oh. parang nag-carry over eh oh. pero ng momentum no? And then the defense of Alaska really, really got sharp on the third quarter. Oh. Talagang uh, pressure on the ball, overplaying the receiver, hindi makapag-execute ang pure foods, you know? And Patrimonio, uncharacteristically missing a free throw. Alam mo, no, semis, 22 out of 22 yan. Yeah, oh, oh, sa kanyang uh, free throw shooting. Oh, another fast break play here by Alaska, but they failed to complete that. Johnny Abarietos. Ayun, yung press ng pure foot na pre-break na talaga ng oh. Alaska no? kaya nakaka-passbreak patuloy sila eh. correct easy baskets ang nakukuha nila oh. layups eh. oh. and it will stay with Alaska Milk they get they get 14 seconds on their shot clock for this offensive thrust Rodney Santos against Mike Castillo nice move by Rodney pero na hindi yung defense sa ilalim one hander by Paul Trigo. It took the inning because our third or the second half for uh, Alaska. He only had six points at the end of the first half. Now has a total of 19. Malakim bagay yan because oh. Winyo is not supposed to give you 19 points. Oh. He's supposed to give you 10, 12 rebounds yeah, and yeah. a double figure probably 10, 11. And he's also limiting Alvin Patrimonio, no? Yeah, may jupini din ni Alvin yung tirang yon. Look away pass by Johnny. At uh, na-anticipated ni Andy Seagull! Oh. Things are not looking good for Pure Foods here in the second half. Eh yun, pagkakataon na yun eh. Malaking pagkakataon na yun para sa Pure Foods to start their momentum. Correct. Nabigyan na sila ng regalo. Oo. Oh. Tapos pinalik naman yung regalo. Oo. Oh. Field goal scoring back in the third. 61% shooting by... Alaska again stats brought to you by Quick Type, the only one blue technology by Lock Type. Walk this Hawkins open shot for Hawkins. And ability of Hawkins to play within the system of Alaska, bringing out the tall man of the opposite side and hitting his jumper. Uh -huh. And uh, malaking bagay yun, eh. you draw out the defense of the big guy. Correct. 
Hawkins now with 17 points in the game, EJ Fire. Even more pressure, yeah. the ball now. pressure on the ball, so you get to steal it, in other words. And an easy two once again for Alaska Milk. Wala sila magawa, EJ Fire was... Uh, pressure, no? Oh, nasa gitna siya, Naka, nag-dribble pa. Correct. Walang makita mapasahan. So, that really destroyed uh, their offense. We have another timeout. Big offensive putback there by EJ File off the timeout. Oh, timeout to Coach Derek Pumarin. Correct. Uh, and he should inspire his boys. All right. <laughs> uh, he had to kick it out to Bong Hawkins. Three-point shot in Deep Pumasok. Johnny Abarekos with the loose bomb recovery. Dito pa sila isa natatalo eh. Yung uh, positioning ng Alaska. Parati nila na, sila nakakuha ng mga sec, mga second, second opportunity. Okay. Pero ito, Algado. Wala, oh, kayo pa. Kanila pa rin. Medyo, they want it more. Oy, but a nice tap nice there. Nice tap oh, by EJ. Huh? Oh, si EJ file pa yun. Roy Castillo gets it to Andy Siegel. A no fear slam. Face your fears, live your dreams. Sabi ng no fear. Oy, Alvin Patrimonio coming from the blind side of Bong Hawkins. But over man, Tommy, still a 21-point lead by Alaska. That's a commanding advantage for uh, the boys of Coach Tim Cohn. As you look at these, uh, this uh, no-fear slam, uh, dito makikita natin si Andy Siegel, pumoporma, kinaliba pa. What a slam jam. That was a no-fear slam. Face your fears. Live your dreams. Rodney Santos. Ayan, sabi niya, face your fears pala ha. Ito, hinarap niya si Noy Castillo. Tinirahan. Yan ang mga tirahan naman nila si Noy Castillo. Kanina pa, to remdes sa kasya. Oo. Oh. Bainte tres mo ang kalamangan ng Alaska. Andy Siegel wants to take on this Pure Foods or rather this Alaska squad single-handedly. By himself. Oh, hindi pwede yun eh. Oh. Kailangan yung may option ka pa, no? Yes. After giving the ball to Andy Siegel, you must have other options. Cutters and shooters setting up. Rodney Santos off the walk list. Inside to Rodney Santos against Castillo. Ayan na si Rodney Santos, uh, specialty at the house yan. Alam mo, ang laki na ng ginaling nito si Rodney Santos oh. in this conference. No? Ever since nasaktan si Johnny Abarientos, he was given the playing time. No? And he's now a different player. Mahirap katira yun, napakahirap. Samantala, re referee haunts play. Merong foul na tatawagan ng Aliado. Natulak niya si EJ File. Yeah, mahirap tulak niya si EJ File. Oh. Natulak niya. <laughs> Meanwhile, here's a nice break. Uh, most refreshing face of the day brought to you by Nesty Ice Tea. Take the punch. Hello, Miss Winnie Alex. Yan po, ating Nesty face of the day. We still have 7 minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the game. Naimbag na rin yung aming Apulakay. Nagitagay gayan kay Kakamsat. Kita Northern Luzon. Yan po sa Baguio, marami tayong mga kaibigan. Puti pa kayo, medyo malamig-lamig din ngayon. Sa gabi. Ed Pixon po, kasama si Coach Tommy Manotok para sa Viva Vintage Television. Uh, it's a Game 2 and Final Series between Pure Foods and Alaska. Ang kailangan ng gawin ng Pure Foods dito is uh, try to lessen the score. No? Mas sila uh, matatalo sila para yung psychological advantage no? na hindi naman sila natambakan ng gusto and keep trying. No? Uh, uh, look for solutions to break the Alaska defense. No? Okay. Ay, yung depensa ngayon na uh, talagang uh, maanghang pero ito tinamaan niya ata si coach uh, si uh, Dindo Pumaran kanya kay Paul natatawag ko yun Rodney yes Rodney Santos uh, is called for the foul fourth team foul para sa Alaska mihingi ng free throw si coach Derek Pumaran none given That is Boyd Fernandez looking at Alvin Patrimonio, but he's fronted by Don Aliado. Patawag ng foul sa referee Ernie De Leon. Don Aliado, uh, sabi niya, much too close. Right. Yun ang depensa ng Alaska. Talaga nag-overplay sila, nagkakaroon uh, ng body contact ng konti. So, jockeying for position. But it stems from pressure on the ball, no? Uh -huh. Kaya nakakagawa ng gano'n ang receiver. The one defending the receiver. Ramas is in for... Uh, Walk list. And they go to EJ File. And a foul be done. Foul number 17, Kevin Ramos. 
Well, E.J. Bile undoubtedly is an imposing figure at low post. And uh, slowly he's realizing uh, what he can do. Correct. You know, with his height and his, his, his buck. Eh, dapat talaga ma-take advantage niya yan. Especially sa All-Filipino, ha? Malaki yeah. bagay si EJ. Uh -huh. Dahil pag pinawal mo ito, yung foul throw nito, kasing galing nas all the big men uh, dito, no? Oo, oh, so, totoo yan. So, ang ganda ng kamay, eh, for a big man. Ha? Hindi ka tulad ng Shaq, ha? Ah, si Shaq, natututo na rin ngayon. Uh -huh. Oo, medyo. Pero mas soft and touch nitong si EJ. Tama, mas may sure ball nito, eh. Correct. Si Shaq, parang shot put, eh. Oo. Oh. <laughs> matulis na matulis. 81-58 is our score. He's still a big 23-point lead here for Alaska. Nice pass inside. The Aliado. Keep a muscle and jump shot and Ray Evangelista. With the rebound. And it is a team to Pumara. Pumara in on the bounce pass to Alvin Patrimonio. He's up against Aliado. Now he's having a bola. Another steal here by Alaska. It's a two-on-one. Evangelista on the game. They say that it. the hole. Did he get a pass at Rodney Santos? And that was a no fear slam by Brian Gahol. Face your fears, live your dreams. Kaya ito. Lalo na namang lumalaki ang kalamangan ng Alaska. EJ Pyle must live his way. Nakikita nyo naman mga kaibigan. May effort lang kay EJ Pyle ng konti, konting composure. And he can easily score. He can deliver, correct. Oo. Especially sa all Filipino, no? Yeah. Na talagang height is bite, no? Oh, Kansa talaga. Kaya lang ang advantage niya rito, eh. Janis shot. Medyo inabot pa ni Dean Duyo, pero Correct. bumanda, pumasok. Alam mo, Janis really showing some flashes here, no? That oh. could make a lot of Alaska fans happy, eh? Well, this is a taste pool to start. Si Janis Abarentos in this game. EJ Fowl. And against Kevin Ramos, kinapika naman ni Kevin. That's the way you, you can stop EJ. If he puts it down... Correct. Doon mo tatapigin. Oo. Oh. Pero pag sa taas, kailangan umakit ka muna ng hagdan bago mo mamagal ang bola. Magdala ka ng sarili mong hagdan. <laughs> Ito naman si Brian Gahol. Meron din yata ang konting injury. And uh, we'll take this uh, opportunity. Since uh, we were... Uh, meron konting uh, lull dito. Brian Gahol is being attended to. Maybe we can look at our uh, fast break play. Uh, sa larong ito. Okay. Ito makikita natin yung mabibitawan ni Alvin Patrimonio ang bola. And last and one of their many fast breaks in this game. Rodney Santos to Brian Gahol. Siguro dyan sa nasaktan eh. They just saw our 105-15 USA collect. Fast break. Sumabit siguro yung mamay sa ring ng konti. Well, yung starters ng Alaska, uh, yung lima, no? si Wino, Hawkins, Abariendos, Duremdes, and Wachwisk. Four of them in double figures. Wachwisk with six. They've combined for 58 points. Sa panig naman ng Pure Food, Seagull with 20, Patrimonio with nine, Pumarin seven, Castillo five, Evangelista two, for a total of 43. So there, dito pa lamang, 15 puntos na kaagad. Ang nilamang nga ng uh, Alaska. Saka mas maganda ang balance ng Alaska sa so oh. scoring. Ito si E.J. Vile had to kick it out to Alvin Patrimonio. That's a PLDT three-point shot. Only five minutes remaining and it's a 22-point lead by Alaska. The hole has it. Rodney Santos got away from Dingo. Ito parang yung, yung, yung confidence level at saka yung composure ng uh, Alaska Milk. Okay. Is, is, uh, is that an all-time high? Correct. Tapos yung two-guard lineup pa ng uh, Pure Foods, ang nangyayari, nagkakaroon ng mismatch sa mga off-guards ng Alaska. No? Oh. And they've exploited this in, in this game. Uh, that has really served them in good stead. So kanina, na report na sa atin uh, ni... Uh, uh, Dong Alihar, that uh, Coach Tim Cohen was very happy with the way they played the first quarter, although they only had an eight-point lead there after the first half. But actually, going to the last 28 seconds of the second quarter, they were just lang ang lamang nila. At pure food kami hawak ng bola. But they were able to swing uh, a six-point uh, run there. Uh, they led by eight points at the end of the half. And pure food was never the same. Oh. And the confidence of Alaska was built 
Yung ibang Japer. Oo. Uh, yung sinasabi natin kung dito, parang nahilo na yung uh, Pure Pulse pagkatapos na ginawa na yung ng Alasa in the last 28 seconds. Saka parang ang hinayang talaga ang Pure Pulse. Oo. Oh. Uh, bad pass there. And here comes an opportunity here for Pure Pulse. Alvin Patrimonio. Jim Reyes was just sent into the game a few plays back by Coach Tim Cohn. Gives up the foul against Alvin Patrimonio. Ah, here's something we like to look at. There are close-up smiles today. What a what great close-up smiles. Now you can have the confidence to move up close with close-up. For strong, shiny, white teeth, precious breath. Yeah, kanawang magagandang ngiti. Para sa inyo, hanggang ng close-up. Patrimonio with the free throw. Ito, unti-unti po, pinapasok ni Coach Tim Cohn. Yung kanyang mga uh, bench players, no? But Jim Reyes, of course, is in there already. He's anticipating a long series. No? Oh. Uh, sa kanya, medyo mukhang panalo na ito. Four minutes, eh, ang laki pa ng lamang niya. Ayaw niyang ubusin yung mga starters niya. Oh. And, uh, para naman makapagpahinga yung uh, kanyang mga superstars. Correct. Who will be carrying the brunt of uh, the battles ahead. Ito si uh, Glenn Yap is in the game. Rodney Santos to Yap. Marami dyan yung mga starters ni uh, Coach Tim Cohn. Medyo uh, pinagpahinga na sila. Meron uh, yun ang isang bonus para sa kanila. Magpapahinga sila in the last four minutes. Unless something... O oh, teka, may reklamo si uh, Coach Tim Cohn. <laughs> Yung lang tumayo si Coach Tim, he jumped out of his seat. Ang inano niya doon, tumama sa ring ang bola uh -huh. eh, no? Tapos na-rebound ni Glenn Yap. Uh -huh. And the referees have now given him the, uh -huh. the benefit of the doubt. Uh -huh. Tignan natin dito. Oh, yun, tumama, tumama sa likod. Tumama, oh. Mukhang hindi, pero tumama sa likod ng Reds. Uh -huh. Kevin Ramos to Jim Reyes. Here's Glenn Yap. Inside pass wide, intended for Rodney Santos. Alvin Patrimonio out to Dindo Pumaran. Pumaran with a three-point shot. Maganda sana yung linya, medyo malakas lang. Inaalak yun ang field foot dito. Still a big 21-point lead by Alaska with three minutes and 22 seconds left in game number two. Here's Rodney Santos to Brian Gahol. Glenn Yap. Attacking Ray Evangelista. Two seconds on the shot clock and did not hit anything but the board. That's a possession of Alvin. Patrimonio, nice spin under the basket. These are the garbage points no? uh -huh. uh, towards the end of the game. Uh, the outcome is now inevitable. They are going to loosen up a little bit. As we said, dilabas na po ni Coach Tim Cohn yung kanyang first five. At binibigyan niya na pagkakataon yung kanyang mga bench players. Jim Reyes almost was still there against Alvin Patrimonio. Pero si Andy Siegel na lang ang wala dyan sa loob para sa Pure Foods. Saka starting unit ni Coach Derek Tumar. He's being attended to. Hindi natin alam kung may iniinda ito. Yung kanyang right thigh binibendahan. Oh ho! Oh ho! Look out! Brian Gahol with an O-Fear slam. Face your fears, live your dreams. Showtime na ito. Oo. Papasok na rin ang mga shock troopers ng Pure Foods. Oo. Ayan si Jessica Banayan. Papasok. Si Romel Daep. At ito, tignan na niyo yung slow-mo replay dun sa napakaganda slam dunk by Brian Gahol. At uh, yan po ating score, 89-68. 21-point lead here for Alaska in game number two. We have a timeout. Let's go back to home studios. All right, back here at the Adelante Coliseum. Meron po tayong back-to-back uh, -back timeouts, actually, tomorrow din in Alaska. So let's go back to Viva Vintage Television. <laughs> Just selling luxury cigarette. At uh, lumabas mo ang bola in favor of Alaska Milk with a, an 89-68 count. 21 puntos po ang lamang ng Alaska over Pure Foods in game number two. And we know that Alaska is looking to tie the series. Na nakuha po yun ng uh, Pure Foods in game number one just last Friday. Pero gaya po ng panahon 
Kanina, nabanggit nga natin kanina, napakainit ng umaga at saka bandang uh, hapon. Pagkatapos, biglang uh, ubo ko sa ulan. Ganon din po ang nangyari dito sa PBA. Nagbago na naman ang panahon. Coach Tommy. Biglang bumuhos ang Alaska oh. nung last 28 seconds ng second quarter. Eh, hindi na tumigil. Oo. Oh. Kumantara, ito si Bulo. Si uh, Brownlee Lim scoring from underneath. A, uh, the white flag of surrender has been raised actually by Coach Garrett Kumaren. Alam niya, useless na ang pilitin nito. Dahil napakalaki na ng kalamangan. Nagubisa po yan in the last 28 seconds of the second quarter. Uy, Kevin Ramas, dalo sa labas. Mga unexpected na naman itong... Uh, oh. But given the freedom by uh, Coach Tim Cohn, no? for their big man to shoot out there. Uh -oh. Ang EJ style. Good moves by EJ. Pero yung uh, mga puntos niya, sabi nga natin, yung garbage points. Garbage ito. points. Okay. Wala nang uh, ibig sabihin ito. Individual stats. Yun. Yeah. 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 For the last 45 seconds of the game, Evan Drama has pushed it over to Brian Gahol. Gahol from the outside dishing. Well, pagdating po ng uh, Miyerkules sa Game 3. Pag-alito na pala yung uh, misis ng uh, aming mayor sa Ormoc City, si Mrs. Baby Cudilla, anak niya si Ging Ging, marami sila rito nanonood. Ang nag-Ormoc din eh. At uh, nag-enjoy po rito sa PBA. So, well, dahil pa at the line, well, usap-usapan itong uh, championship na ito sa buong Pilipinas, Coach Tommy. At uh, wala kang uh, tulak kabingin, lalo na nung nangyari nung uh, first game. Tapos nabanggit nga natin, but, a lot of people really thought that Alaska had the edge in this series. Pero pinakita ng Pio Foods na kaya nilang manalo. Correct. Kaya nilang uh, manalo. And uh, this game, medyo nakabalik ang Alaska. No? Oh. So, the doubters are still there. Eh, one all naman. No? Yes. So, we really look forward to a very good third game. Totoo yan. Dahil uh, pareho nang nakatikim ito. Eh. Correct. Dalawang kubunan. Eh. Although, of course, uh, this is a big win by Alaska. But so was the first uh, game win by uh, Pure Food. Saka parang 3 out of 5 na lang ito. It started uh -huh. 4 out of 7. It's now a 3 out of 5 team. Uh, mga kaibigan, nag-zeroan na po ang uh, mga fans ng Alaska at ang buong uh, kupunan ng Alaska Lux. At uh, sabi nga ni Coach Tommy, we are even Steven in the series at one game apiece. Pure Food's taking game one. Alaska naman.